Okay, I'm going to quickly try to create a new project. Let's see if this works. So we go to File, New Solution. I'm going to create a iOS. And I'm not going to worry about portable classes because it's just too hard at the moment. So I'm going to try to create a um, myapp.core. And I'll create it in a solution called myapp. Go. That's going to be my library project. What I want to reference is there is some files. So I've got to find them. And uh, it's on the disk somewhere. So I'm going to go to projects. Do I have anything there? Uh, no. So I'm going to go to Stuart to documents. And I've got some stuff in GitHub. And I've got my binaries, which are downloaded. And I will take hold of these. Um, and I will take the uh, MVX and I'm just going to do iOS. So I'm just going to take these guys and I'm going to take the core of cross core and um, MVVM cross if I can. There's MVVM cross, there's cross core add. So those two are cross. And then what I do is I'm going to add a new file called class one. Right, and then I'm going to just edit it so it's just normal code. And this one is going to be called app. And it's going to inherit from MVX application. And if I'm lucky, I'll have IntelliSense. And normally you override the initialize. So I'm going to do that. And basically, you want to register app start. And this is uh, uh, just going to be the first view model. So then we need to create a view model. So we do that public class first view model. And I'll just put, you know, a simple. field in there and then I want to raise property changed name and then obviously I've got this private string underscore name. So that should be my core. Let me just see if it builds. Okay, so that builds. So now I want to add my app. So I go to add new project. And I go to iOS and I want to build a iPhone project. So I'm going to go to single view application. And this is going to be called my app dot i dot touch. Right, so I get some stuff in here and I need to change it. So first of all, I'm gonna go back to edit references and these assemblies. So I go to Stuart Lodge, documents, GitHub, hopefully you didn't see anything too sensitive, and binaries, bin, release. So I'm gonna pull in the touch ones again. So I'm gonna pull in cross core touch, cross core, binding touch, binding, and then I'm going to pull in these two guys. So MVVM cross touch and MVVM cross. Hopefully that's enough. I then also need to pull in my core project. So I've done that. And then what I need to do is change these files. So this here, the app delegate, becomes an MVX application delegate. And I use Alt Enter to pull that in. And then there's some code here that needs to change. And I think the syntax is something like, so I get rid of that line and I get rid of that line. I think the syntax is something like, I need a setup. So let's do that as a public class setup. It's gonna be an MVX touch setup.
and you can take a look at what these guys um, need from the um, from like what's on the um, on the uh, you know n plus one blog etc so we're in setup and what I do need here is I need a constructor that passes down so there are some of these comments so the constructor here is a public setup and I think what it takes as parameters is an MVX application delegate and an IMVX touch view presenter. Just see, does it give me IntelliSense? So it's those, and they just get passed down. That's all you need to do. Base app, comma, presenter. So that should then work. Um, and what I need to return in this is I need to return the core new core dot app and that should be enough for that and so then back in app delegate what I can now do is I can now do var presenter sorry I typed it wrong presenter equals new mvx touch uh, touch view presenter this will just be the most basic type of presenter possible and that's going to take this and window that's the arguments again hopefully I can just do an alt enter so do those and then what I need to do is a semicolon and a setup var setup equals a new setup and I pass in this and the presenter and then what I need to do is call setup.initialize. And then there is a little bit extra I need to do, which is to do a var start equals mvx dot, oops, it's too, too much for me, mvx dot, again, I'll tend to pull it in. And I'm going to resolve, and the thing I need to resolve is the app start. And again, I'll tend to pull these things in. And then when I've got that, it's just start dot start. Okay, so that's all of that done. And so now I think what I can do is I can add a new file, uh, add a new folder. And the folder is gonna be called views. And this folder is going to be done with a new file. And the new file is gonna be a iOS, iPhone, where is it? iPhone view controller. And because my view model was called first view model, this one's going to be called first view. Create new. And you can see it creates a zip and a C sharp and a C sharp designer. Just to make this obvious, I'm going to go back here, rename these things. So, you know, we've got the very similar structure now to what we had before. So, we've got first view and we've got a first view designer. Let's just use Xcode very quickly to create our view. And what I'd like is I would like a label. Which I'll put here and I'll make it, you know, bigger or something. So I will make it uh, much bigger in font size and the color can be red. Um, and, you know, maybe I'll put some shadow around it or something yep so that gives us a, a little bit of, uh, of syntax to it and then I also would like a text field so I go to uh, text and I go to text field and I'll put that here as well so here's my text field and uh, my text field let's again make it a bit bigger and you know we could do whatever we want in terms of border style so when we've done that, what we're going to do is view assistant editor, show assistant, and drag these things down. So we've got our two fields, label, my label, and then we also want the text field, so we'll do it from here this time. New referencing outlet, my text. 
So those are, you know, my label, my text. Control save this file, save, and then let's go back to uh, here and hopefully, so the designer now has those two things in there. Which now means in the first view, we've got a couple of things to do. MVX view controller. And we can add enter to get that. And um, we don't really care about this. This uh, did receive memory warning for now. We do care about memory, obviously. But So all we're going to do is we're going to um, do the binding. And to do that, what we're going to do is var set equals this dot create binding set. And it's a binding set from the first view to the first view model. And again, we'll have to do alt enter to pull these things in. And alt enter, pull these things in. And then when we've done that, we can bind things. So set.bind. And this is, first of all, my, what did I call it? My label to, and this is the view model. The view model's name field is what we called it. And then we want to bind the text field as well. My text. To again, it's the view model name, uh, name field. So those things are both bound to the same property, and then we just call set.apply. And at that stage, we should, with a very following wind, be able to set this to the iPhone simulator, set this as a startup project. Um, and I don't know why it does that, but it does. Um, come back to um, mono develop slash Samarin Studio, hit start debugging. Hopefully it builds. And then hopefully it will launch the simulator. And when we start typing in here, we get the binding. So that's one lot of binding. If we wanted to add more fields, we could do it. Um, but that's the very most, that very minimal thing you have to do to get up and running. 12 minutes 30.